Daisy is a diesel rail car who works on Thomas's branch line. When either Thomas or Toby is ill or busy, she takes Annie, Clarabel, or Toby's vintage train and the milk on her passenger runs. One day, the fat controller was at Ellsbridge Station. The Mayor of Shordor have announced that Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth will be visiting our island for her Dharma Jubilee. The branch line engines were excited. Thomas, Turby and Percy remembered the day when Her Majesty came to Sodor during her coronation. Just then, Daisy said, Who will be pulling the royal train, sir? She asked excitedly. Go on and steer the royal train, Daisy. So you, Thomas, Toby and Persia will provide passenger trips from Farquhar to the big station. Oh, okay, said Daisy sadly. She never told anyone this, but she always wanted to have a royal passenger on board. But she knew she would never have that chance. Over the next few days, as Daisy was waiting for her departure, Gordon would always race past, bursting about taking the Queen again. Daisy tried to ignore him, but she can't handle it. The day came at last, and all the passengers were catching the trains to the big station. While Gordon puffed to the big station at the end of the line. Daisy was in a siding waiting for Turby to pass with an up train to Farquhar. Later on, Turby was in the station. He could see Daisy's sad expression. What's the matter? he asked. Oh, Turby, the Queen is coming, and I'm stuck here taking passengers. What's wrong with that? Well, I don't say this much, but I've always wanted to bring the Queen to Natford. When I heard it from Gordon when the Queen came here, I'm always dreaming of doing it myself, but I don't think this year. Oh, Daisy, don't worry about that. There's bound to be other years when the Queen can come back to the island. Possibly maybe during our 100th anniversary to celebrate our railway's opening. Anyway, I guess you never know what's going to happen one day. After the guard blew his whistle and waved his green flag, Turby puffed away to Farquhar. Daisy knew Toby was right, and she rolled away with her last passengers for the trip. Meanwhile, Gordon was racing down the main line. He slowed down at all the stations so the Queen can wave to the people of Sodor. Feels like old times, said Gordon happily. But as they pulled out from Henry's tunnel, Gordon stopped. His driver and fireman stepped down from the cab, and they said, Your steam pressure is down, Gordon. You can't make much more steam now. It looks like we have to call for help now, said his fireman. The news broke at Napford Station. Gordon has broken down outside of Henry's tunnel, said the fat controller crossly. The engines were surprised and cross. I need a volunteer to go and collect you. We can't have a party without the Queen. This could be your chance, Daisy. Come on, ask. Excuse me, sir, but perhaps I can help Gordon? The fat controller turned to Daisy, and then agreed. So Daisy rolled away, 
off to rescue Gordon and the Queen. Her Majesty was getting restless. Then Gordon could hear a horn in the distance. It's Daisy, said Gordon happily. Oh, thank you, Daisy. Daisy rolled up to Gordon and was coupled up to him. Just then the Queen spoke to Daisy. Would it be all right if I can ride in you, Daisy? She asked. Um, um, what do you think, Gordon? Daisy asked. Oh, I am fine with it, Daisy. In fact, Toby told me about that you always wanted to haul one of the royal passengers. Well, now's your chance, he said. Oh, thank you, Gordon, honked Daisy happily. They arrived at the big station safe and sound. And as they pulled in, all the engines and crowd were cheering for Daisy as she and Gordon pulled in with the royal passenger. The fat controller put his hand up for silence and the queen made her speech. As we're in the 21st century during the privatization of our nation's railway, filled with electric trains, and our nation's steam locomotives and electric diesel engines gone from the working life, steam and diesel electric will remain strong to the world here on Sodor. These engines, whom are old and new, and whom are built by people in our nation, will never cease. I'm always proud of Sir Bertram Topham Hatt to keep his father's and great-grandfather's railway alive with the stories from this railway in books for children so they can know what will happen when these two kinds of engines work together. Three cheers for Daisy the Royal Diesel Rail Car, shouted Gordon. Daisy was very happy. For once, she has now hauled a royal passenger and no engine ever felt proud to be working on the Fat Controller's Railway. <laughs>